Welcome back to our project sled build, where this week we're going to be focusing in on increasing functionality and adding a little bit of horsepower with the help of our friends from Boss. On today's modern sleds, it's not easy to lose weight and gain functionality, as most of the components are already minimal and built with reduced weight in mind. However, when it comes to seats, there's huge room for improvement. And there isn't any other company in the business that knows seats like Boss. Being in this industry for over 15 years means they have some of the coolest, lightest weight, and most functional snowmobile seats in all of the aftermarket industry. At the heart of the Boss seat is a high quality, ultra comfy, and incredibly resilient HR foam that's built to last. Wrapping the foam is super durable and fade resistant material that features waterproof zippers for all of the 12 separate storage compartments, including two specifically for water bottles. If there's something all snowmobiles can use more of, it's definitely storage, and on this Polaris Assault, there's none whatsoever. So with a simple bolt-on installation, we're gonna transform this snowmobile's comfort and functionality. While storage is great, it's really an added bonus. The Boss seat raises you up higher on the sled with a tapered flat top motocross style seat that's gonna make powder hooking easier and landing big drops or jumps more comfortable. And due to the gas tank design on this sled, the added foam means you're not gonna crush your tailbone if you land a little flat. While Boss is best known for their incredible sled seats, they also dominate the nitrous oxide business with the simplest to install and easiest to use NOS kits in the industry. Now I'm pretty excited to show you this nitrous kit, and with the help of Boss NOS, you can equip your two, three, or four cylinder sled in an afternoon. Most people think nitrous oxide is only for tuners, but Boss has designed a system that's simple, easy, and safe to use. Right out of the box, there's no soldering, tapping, or anything that the average tech head can't figure out. And with step-by-step -step instructions and pictures of each brand's installation, I'm certain that you can make this work. Most brands' nitrous kits are designed to be run at 900 or so PSI, making them unstable and potentially dangerous to run. Boss has designed the first pressure-regulated NOS system that not only runs at 300 PSI, but automatically jets and mixes the nitrous and the fuel at the same time thanks to the NPFI. The NPFI, or Nitrous Powered Fuel Injector, gets mounted inside of the airbox. Now there's one on each carburetor boot, and this allows a direct injection of the nitrous and fuel mixture into the engine. From here, we can crimp our fuel lines with the included tools, attach our lines, and mount our smart box along with the system power switches and the nitrous button on the brake side of the handlebars. The Boss smart box uses AA batteries to power the whole system. Now it only takes eight, and if you use lithium, you can get a whole season's use out of it. Because it takes AAs, it means that you don't have to do any wiring into the main system of the sled. Mounting the NOS and fuel bottles can be a little tricky, especially with the stock exhaust system. And even with this Polaris's conventional clam style hood, there's just not enough room for the big five pound NOS bottle. So we mounted it at the back of the tunnel and we're gonna put the fuel canister underneath the hood. Now that we've mounted our NOS bottle, we need to find a home for our fuel bottle, which is gonna go underneath the hood. After this, we're gonna make our final connections and make sure that all of our lines are safe and secure and that there's no 90 degree bends. You might think placing fuel and nitrous bottles near the exhaust is dangerous, but Boss created this system to withstand heat and is designed to be placed under the hood of a snowmobile in close quarters with the engine's components. So now that we've made all of our final connections, all that's left to do is fill the nitrous bottle, get our fuel bottle filled with 91 octane or better fuel, and go ahead and test this sled out in an upcoming episode. My final step for today is to update the belt on our sled. Because the nitrous will be boosting up to 30 extra horsepower, I know I need a better, stronger, and more durable belt designed for the added abuse of nitrous, and Daco's high horsepower XTX belt will fit the bill perfectly. In the past, the thought of adding nitrous to a sled was strictly left to the professionals. But thanks to companies like Boss, adding extra horsepower to beat your buddies or push through that extra deep powder is no longer out of reach. 